famous arena. Welcome to Madison Square Garden. Gary Thorne with Bill Clement bringing you the National Hockey League here on ESPN. Still early in the season. These teams, though, ready to go. Folks, I can't tell you how much respect I have for the fans of the New York Rangers. They went on a long stretch without making the playoffs. Still, this building fills it up night after night cheering on the blue shirts. Veteran defensemen really add to the way a club plays. Two blue liners in this game tonight bring along a lot of years and a lot of experience. Breezeball puts up pretty good numbers because he does what you have to do as a defenseman in today's NHL. He joins the rush. Boy, can he flatten people in open ice. Darius Kasparaitis hitting you. He's like getting hit by a small car. The Rangers are an offensive team made so by their balance. They send four lines out against you night after night. You just can't match up against them. And Gary, when I see a team that is this strong offensively and this disciplined, I think of good coaching right away. Players on their way to the circle, ready to start the opening period here tonight. Get for your the Canadians win the opening faceoff. The Rangers collect the puck in the neutral zone. Koivu picks up the loose puck at center ice. He's got to watch that stick. Refs are going to have to call Spearing. Lindros over to Yager. He shoots from the right side. Theodore. Oh, great opportunity here to use the blocker from the stand-up position, and he did. He flashed that waffle board. Bang! Good save. Riesbois gets control of the puck in his own end. Well, I've always said the thing that's dangerous about Yarmir Yager is he can beat you in so many ways. He can beat you out of the corner. He can beat you stepping out from behind the net or off the rush. I mean, there's no easy way to stop him. Theodore prepares to protect the left side of the goal. Centers the puck into traffic. Oh, was that me or did the building shake on that impact? We don't expect it from this guy, but did he ever nail him? Zednik sends it to the defenseman. Rizbois dishes it out across the ice to Kovalev. He handles the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, an excellent poke check. That'll stop a potential scoring opportunity. Any more stick working like that, and there's going to be a little water skiing effort. Zednik under pressure passes up the right side. Lindros holds him along the boards. He passes it up the right side to Yager in the corner. The Canadian bring out a new set of forwards looking for a goal here. Carried in the neutral zone by Marinov. He dekes. Lavich holds the puck in the corner. Lindros centers the puck. Save, using the blocker to deny the opportunity. Save. Theodore, able to clear it out of his own end. The puck sent to the defenseman. Lavich in the neutral zone. The Rangers switch up the defensive pairings. The puck gets sent up the right side. He brings it up. Ryder hits the puck out. Nobody to receive. Ryder got punished at center ice by Holy. Oh, what a hit. And from a guy that you wouldn't expect, he crunched him. Casper Ryder with the deep. Theodore stops the shot, headed bottom right. Murray up with the puck. Oh, this is a good pat save, Gary. I don't think the shooter had much time. You get into the trenches, you know you're going to get whacked. You just let it rip. He let it rip right into the pad. Theodore braces for the faceoff near his goal. The Rangers take control of the puck here at home. One man advantage along the corner. Bullis with a superb defensive play, both checking that away. Sundstrom hammers the shot from the left wing. From Holy to Burry. From Marinov over to Burry. And he really got him with that stick. He will not be happy about that one. Fires. Oh, this is a key block right here. Remember, the game is tied. Green has the puck in the corner. Back behind the net. It's passed to the point. And the shooting lane clogged. What a dump. 
save made, able to stop a very tough chance. That one tipped off somebody and headed towards the net. Boulis holds the puck in center ice. The Canadian cleared out of the zone. Good effort. The Canadian ice the puck. Faceoff will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. In the center, to La Couture. The Canadiens grab the loose puck in their own end. Messier with a wrist shot. Theodore showing us that it's all about position with this save. He didn't have to grab it with his glove, didn't have to make the save with the blocker. He just had his body in the right spot. Boy, you hear coaches talking about having a good stick. That's what they mean. Perfect poke check to deny a scoring opportunity. Messier. a bit of a hook on that play. The Canadian will be called for icing. Theodore possessions himself on the left side of the net waiting for this faceoff. The Rangers have found themselves in a scoreless game zip zip right now about midway into the first period of play. What can you say about their playing so far from what we're seeing out of this team? Hey, I don't mind where these guys are going. I mean, they've got to play a patient game. They're willing to play low-scoring games, and right now we've got a scoreless tilt. One thing they've got to do, though, is make sure they match the other guys defensively. You can't hold the game scoreless forever if you're not any good on the D side of the puck. Kasparaitis with the puck at center. Kasparaitis to Ortmeier. Puck handled by Moore. Cody controls the puck in the defensive end. He's holding the puck at the neutral zone. Over to Ortmeier. Ortmeier lets one go from the right side. Theodore. And a save. Goal! Oh, it's in, and they've got it going early. A 1 0 lead here at home in the first. And they're getting ready for the faceoff as the players get set around the faceoff dot. Sundstrom. Number 41. The Rangers gain possession of the puck. Murray fires a rope from the right side. Carried it into the corner. And the puck is controlled by Ortmeier. Theodore with a save. His team looking to get this one tied up. Still down by one. Fuliano pops it away. Beautiful play. Sent to the left side. The Rangers have possession at center ice. It goes to the point. Bouillard sends a long pass up the left side. Theodore saves that shot from the right side. It's cleared. Zednik with the puck in the corner. Zednik to Markov. Bouillard stuck a stick inside that time. Riesbois makes the pass to the defenseman. He passes to the defenseman. Riesbois through the zone. And it's taken left side by Kovalev with the puck center ice. Has it along the boards. And he's jammed that shooting lane diving to the ice. The puck gets set up the right side. Riesbois feeds the puck up the left ice. A long pass. The Canadian change shifts for their defenseman. To Lindros. Lindros, covered tightly, knocks the puck up the left side. The puck gets picked off. He scores! They go ahead by two goals. There's a big goal here on the first. Well, we're going to see this replay on the nice backhand goal. Naturally, you would 
like to shoot the puck on the forehand if you get a chance, but believe me, you got no time to transition in traffic. He made the right play. Bill, offensive players know when they get down this close, somebody's going to hit them real soon once that puck's on their stick. He got rid of it before that happened. We've got a face-off coming up. Teams moving into position here as they get set to drop the puck. The Rangers got themselves a two-goal lead now. What a position to be in early in the game. In the slot area now. Number 88, Eric. Took that stick to the body. I don't know if the ref saw that. You know, Jose Teodoro likes to get it done with style, with that butterfly style. I mean, play the percentages, let the pucks hit him. And I'll tell you what, when he has to show off his agility, his mobility, his acrobatic talents, he is one of the best in the game. And they'll face off on the right side of the goalkeeper. Oh, what a pump check. Good use of the stick there. Dejeuner clears it out of the zone. Ryder in the defensive zone. Now, well, this guy doesn't run over people, Gary. We know that. But boy, he made a pretty good open ice hit here. Dejeuner scales the boards. Dunham saved. That two-goal advantage stays up on the board as he hangs up. And nice to see big Mike Dunham in goal. Always nice to see those guys from the University of Maine. Right, Gary? Yeah, you bet. Hey, Mike Dunham takes great pride in representing the United States, and he has on many occasions in international competition. The face-off is left of the goalie. The Rangers have the puck leading by two at home. Down under that 200 mark at a minute 55 to go. Theodore, save, denies that slap shot with a wood. The Canadian have possession of the puck. He centers the puck over to Rivera from Dejeuner. Holy gets control of the puck in his own end. Green, under pressure, sends off the puck, but no one there to get it. Gets the puck away with a poke check. Olik picks up the puck in the offensive end. Down low. Olik. Theodore showing us that it's a game of decisions, and this one went his way. He went down with the paddle. Perfect timing, perfect decision on the play. Boy, you gotta like Mike Ribeiro. Not only does he put up numbers, but he's not afraid to go to those dangerous areas of the ice, into the trenches, the corners, the front of the net. He's a real hard-nosed kid. Dunham ready for the face-off to his right. Five seconds still showing. Love it. Let's one go from the defensive end. And that signals the end of the first period with a score. Two to zero. The Rangers have just surged ahead to finish the first period up two goals, Bill. They've really had an incredible burst after being even midway through that first. What sticks out in your mind about the brand of hockey we're seeing out of these guys tonight? Well, Gary, they're doing exactly what they wanted to out there tonight. Maintaining control of the puck in the offensive zone gives their team a huge edge. And with a two-goal lead, I'd say they're pretty well on top of their game plan right now. Just about ready to start the second period. The ref set to drop the puck. Marinov passes it up through center ice. The Canadian pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Lavich with the centering pass. Theodore able to stop the puck. Riesbois covered tight. Passes up the right side. Kovalo can't hold on to the puck after that big shoulder shot by Lindros. The Rangers are able to make the switch defensive change over the boards. The shot is stopped by Theodore. He passes it up the right side from Kovalev to Koivu. Prizadi, the corner. Younger does a move. Koivu really is dynamite in the little package. I mean, he's not afraid to get in there and stir it up and mix it along the boards. Doesn't matter how big the opposition is. Skater's getting set now as the official moves into position. Ready for this face-off as he gets set to drop the puck. 
The Canadian get the face off down by two on the road. He plays it up the center. Shot save. Dejeuner with a great defensive play that pokes the puck away. Controlled center ice by Burray. Scaling the wall and controlled by Burray. Burray has it in the corner. Along the left wall, now it's controlled by Burray. We're going to have a penalty coming. All right, this gives us a chance to check out the replay of the interference call that was just made. And Bill, not much question here. That'll get you two in the sin bin. Suray, he is going to the sin bin for the first time tonight. Ranked number three in his team in penalty minutes. He is pretty familiar with that trip to the sin bin. They're ready in the circle for the faceoff. How about these fans, Gare? They want their team to get into it, and right now they're trying to push them from behind. They have really got this started. It's a roar in here right now. The Rangers take the puck. Power play underway. Bouillard picks up the loose puck in his own zone. It's been checked away. Marco gets pinned against the boards. Marco can't hold on to the puck after that check. Hi, hello. Lindros directs it to the left wing. Theodore with a great save to stop the shorthanded attempt at the point. Kasparaitis gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. Over to Halavich. All right, take a look at this save. Good positioning by this goaltender, and the shot wasn't really a blazing shot, but still it had an upper part of the net written all over it. Good shoulder save. Well, you got a goaltender playing positionally as well as he is right now, but you got to take a better offensive chance than that because you're not going to beat him on that shot. Skaters look like they're set around the circle here as we get set for the drop of the puck in this draw. The Rangers take control of the puck here at home. One man advantage. Carried it into the corner. He decided to get his body on the ice and he defended the play. The Canadian have possession of the puck in the defensive zone. Shorthanded, they clear the puck. Penalty killing unit gets it done. Adik, what a move. Miranov over to Burry. Hit with a stick there. Theodore delivers the puck back to his defenseman. The Canadian are facing an icing call. Theodore digs in at the left side, waiting for the puck to drop. La Couture, under pressure, sends out the puck. No one there to get it. Tesore, quick poke check to break up the play by Messier. No luck on the pass. Oh, this was a must block right here, and he did it so efficiently with this guy's down by two. Puck back to the point. Over to Ryder from Dejeuner. Tutin puts the puck through center. They're ready to square off. Messier, I think, uh, wanted a little payback there, Bill, from the contact he had earlier tonight. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think they were tired of the YI offers. I mean, somebody finally had to throw a punch. When you get that kind of attention paid to you on the ice, uh, I think there's a cumulative effect to that that ends up with a fight. Messier wins the fight with his team up. Maybe that's enough to put him over the top, Bill. Yeah, Gary, not only is his team up, but the guys on the bench, you know, are really amped up right now because of that win. And they're ready for the faceoff, getting their sticks down on the ice as we get something drop the puck. The Rangers win the faceoff in the lead of two goals here on their home ice. Five-minute major for fighting. Montreal. The Rangers regain control on the offensive. Hey, why don't we just call him Crusher? That was highlight material for sure. No luck with the pass from Lindros. Sundstrom gets control of the puck in his own end. Kasparaitis. Poke checks. Broken up with a poke check at center ice. Back to the point. In the slump. The Rangers get the loose puck in their own end. He passes to the right wing. Yager in the corner. Yager with a centering pass, players around. Sore sends a long pass up the left side. Lindros hit in front of the bench by Sore. Lindros started this fight, but I think the reason for this fight started earlier in the game. There's been some contact, there have been words exchanged out there on the ice, and it just seemed to progress. Yeah, Gary, I think you nailed it. It's kind of payback time. These guys have long memories. Big time payback. Lindros started the fight, got the W, now what's the impact? These guys aren't losing anywhere, including on the scoreboard. It's all going their way. The faceoff will be to the left of the net.
with the puck in the neutral zone. Markov gains possession in the defensive end. Ryder plays it up the center. Koivu is pressured and feeds it back to Dagené. Controlled along the boards. Malik is going to be getting a penalty. A delayed call here. In the corner. Younger makes the pass to the defenseman. Oh, man. Climb up onto my operating table here. In this case, the operating table was the end of his stick. The replay will show you what a spearing penalty looks like. Won't tell you what the guy feels like that got speared, but just take my word for it. It flat out hurts. And that's a penalty with intent to injure, and that's why it's so serious. This face-off to the right of the goalkeeper. Win the faceoff now in the penalty kill. The Rangers have got a nice cushion here. Two goals about halfway through this second period, Bill. And they're leading in the first period. Looks like they've continued right where they left off after the break. Recipe here tonight has been successful. What's making this game turn out like this? Well, Gary, they're doing exactly what they wanted to out there tonight. Maintaining control of the puck in the offensive zone gives their team a huge edge. And with a two-goal lead, I'd say they're pretty well on top of their game plan right now. He brings the puck up. From Koivu, Dubon. Dunham saving it. He keeps that two-goal lead alive for his club. Younger able to hit the puck out of the zone. That'll be cleared. Penalty killing still underway. Freeze ball. Under pressure. Passes up the right side. Oh, gotta love the way this guy hits. He just finds his target, zeroes in, and finishes him. Shot from the left side. And it deflects off the glass. Lavich has the puck at center ice. Over to the point. Any more stick working like that, and there's going to be a little water skiing effort. Zednik at center. From Zednik over to Kovalev. And a save by Dunham. And he successfully covers it up. Dunham keeps the puck, taking no chances here. Score, but Yarmir Yager really is one of the prettiest playmakers in the league. You know what? It helps to be tall. You can at least see over the little guys. The Rangers have the puck leading by two at home. Green scaling the boards with the puck. Over to Burry. Olik gets possession of the loose puck. Olik with the puck in the corner. It's fed back to the point. Rakunic passes the puck in the center to Murray. Well, let me tell you something as we look at Bobby Holik. If you're the center that's lucky enough to line up across from him the whole game, you better pack a lunch because he is a full-time job. And here comes the face-off. We'll start action up again with this drop of the puck. It's tipped away. Play broken up, diving to the ice to get in the way. You know, if you're looking for prototypes, I don't think you have to look any further than Sheldon Sure. I mean, figure out what you want in a defenseman. Size, he's got it. Durability, yep. He's got mobility, he's got a good shot. I mean, he's a pretty good package to have in your uniform. They're ready to drop the puck. Oh, you gotta like this play. Open ice hits are difficult because if you miss the guy, he's gone. He didn't miss him. Oh, a high impact play from a high impact guy. What a hit. Over in the corner. It's passed to the point. The Rangers grab the puck in the neutral zone. Olik in the slot. Theodore gets the save. Olik holding the puck in the corner. He covers it up. Oh, man, I can't believe he made this save. Check it out on the replay. It's a point-blank shot. I mean, he had no reaction time. Well, I guess he had a little reaction time. Somehow he got it with the glove. A lot of goaltenders love to use that catching glove because not only can you catch the puck in it, it also is big enough to actually block shots, even though rebounds result. That's how you use it to deny a goal. Man, was he fast. Theodore in net, ready for the faceoff to his left. Messier fires it under pressure. No one there to get it, though. Puck controlled in the defensive zone by Potty. Over to the left wing. 
Pody with a dig. The Canadian regain control on the offensive. Great poke check by Brisebois. La Couture gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. Boy, I love this guy. He is Mike Ribeiro, really one of the underrated passers in the game. If you don't believe me, ask the winger that he had, the rookie guy back in 2003-2004, Michael Ryder. Ryder put up big goal-scoring numbers playing with Ribeiro. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the puck drop. Rakunic is under pressure and sends it back to his defenseman. Lavage from Marinov has it in the slot. Markov under pressure, passes up the left side. Marinov uses the poke check. Great deke, he's created space. And we're at the two-minute mark of the period. Brisbois makes a great defensive move. That breaks up the scoring chance. Theodore, save, going left side low. Nothing down there to shoot at. Brisbois covered tight, passes up the right side. He digs. Broken up with a poke check. He's in the corner. Rakunic holds him up against the wall. Ball is held against the boards. Oh, Gary, I love these takeouts. A good clean hit with the shoulder in the corner. There's no elbow. There's no high stick. Just a good crunch. Checking with 19 seconds left. Goal! And they brought themselves within one as time's running down here in the second period. Hey, left post, right post, who cares? I think this was right post, at least it sounded like a right post, and we know the difference, right, Garrett? It's what all that training of our ears did, Bill, so we know the difference between posts. The goaltender, unfortunately, didn't come out, went in. We'll get back to the action now. The ref gets ready to drop the puck. The Canadian have done what they wanted to do. They've converted on their scoring chances here in the second period. And now have got this game back to within one goal. The big goal differential of two has disappeared. Let's see if they can get this thing tied up. And that signals the end of the second period with a score 2-1. Two, two The Rangers are ahead one goal as we come out of the second intermission, Bill. They had the lead last period. I know they wanted to expand on that. Can't be idle right now because this game's too close for that. How's the picture unfolding tonight? No, the lead here they've got can really be attributed to their success of getting off great shots during their scoring opportunities. And they've had so many, I'm surprised they're not ahead by more. for some third period hockey here tonight. Start the third with the puck. Koivu picks up the loose puck in his own zone. The Canadiens knock it out of their zone. That'll be a clear. He feeds it up the right side. Controlling the puck along the boards by Yager. Theodore with a save. His team looking to get this one tied up. Still down by one. Hey, you don't have to crack him in two. Just move him. Poke checked at center. Lindros over to Yager. Pulls off a move. Yager controlling the puck in the corner. Taken through the zone by Potty. He feeds the puck to the left wing. Oh, he thrashed him and trashed him to the ice. Now he's got to peel himself back onto his skates. It's saved by Dunham. Sednik stops that play with a poke check. He's got it in the neutral zone. Lavich sends it right side out of pressure. Oh, they're trying to stay close on this one. Everybody's getting into the act. Good shot block on the knees. The Rangers take the D change here. He shoots again. Oh, man, what a save. We are down to crunch time, folks. This is the third period, and that is a big save. Oh, how big is this play? Off the post, check out the replay. One team gunning for a two-goal lead, and the other one clinging to life support. And boy, that life support it sounds a whole lot better than it did just a second ago. Now in this third period, one more, they can put it in and tie this thing up. Theodore protects the right side of his goal as the skaters will face off. The Rangers get the faceoff, leading by one here at home. Over to the point. Rakunic has the puck through the zone. 
The Canadian pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Holds the puck at center. Holy checks him at center ice. Save me. Dunham freezes the puck. And here's Mike Dunham. He started his professional career in the New Jersey Devils organization. Pretty hard to take Martin Brodeur's job, so like many others, Mike Dunham moved on. The referee will drop the puck left of the net. And now the puck carried by Marinov. Marinov gets checked at center ice. Goes to the point. Ryder with it in the slot. Down. Save made. His team leading by one and still is after that one. He passes to the defenseman. It's puck check by Ryder. Holy sends it over to the right wing. Foray. His shot completely misses the goal. Hey, years ago with the old pigs, that net wouldn't have moved. And here we go, another draw down there on the ice. Folly feeds it out of pressure up the right side. It's broken up with a good punch in. Komisarek sends the puck up center ice. Sundstrom is at center ice. He pulls off the move. Dunham saved that one headed low right from Bali. To Messier. Save that one headed to the top left by Theodore. Messier gets his stick on the loose puck. The Rangers change shifts for skaters coming out on the ice. Ref signaling delayed call on the play. The ref called a hooking penalty. We'll go back and take a look at it on this replay. That really makes it easy, Bill. You don't have to be hauled down to get a hooking, but when you do go down, you got the call easily made. Sometimes all you got to do is slow him down, and you're going to get the call against you. The linesman ready to set the puck down. Bill, sometimes crowds are tentative, only a one-goal lead, but not tonight. Nothing tentative about this crowd. What does tentative mean, Gary? <laughs> Well, I love this puck check because they stopped an offensive play from developing before it even got in the drawing board. He decided he might as well finish what he started. He won it. And Gary, his team's ahead, so that's insult to injury. Theodore in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. Smashes it. The Canadiens get the puck still in the PK with a one-man disadvantage. And they're finally able to get it out of the zone on Skase. Couple of shots stopped on that effort. Puck over to the right wing. Left side carried by Yak. You know, every once in a while, it's nice to be able to say to a friend, eh, you don't know what you're talking about. The other day I was talking to a friend. Boy, did he know what he was talking about. He said that Jose Teodor is one of the best in the league. I agree. The referee will drop the puck left of the net. The Rangers win the faceoff on the power play. Controlling it in the corner. He controls the puck along the wall. Yager passes to the left wing. Along the right wall, it's controlled by Halabic. Olik sends the pass, but no one can get to it. Saved by Theodore. Lavich carries it behind the net. Shoots. Theodore. Save. He blocked the left side. Olik freezes him. He's up against the boards. Lavich is held against the boards. Puck back to the point. Lavich gets the puck out. Not a good pass. Oh, a point-blank opportunity. The shooter didn't have much time to pick a corner. He decided to go low. A super skate save robbed him. 
The Rangers were ahead at the end of the first period and have the one goal advantage. Bill, what's keeping this team going out there tonight? Now, the lead here they've got can really be attributed to their success in getting off great shots during their scoring opportunities, and they've had so many, I'm surprised they're not ahead by more. Oh, that's a pretty good poke check right there. I mean, the guy wasn't in great scoring position, but you got to get the puck to transition, and he did. Dunham makes the save. Bolik, under pressure, passes it back to Marinov. Dunham doesn't want to risk giving up that one-goal lead here in the third period. He's fast, and he's got a shot that's even faster. Saku Koivu is a talented player who has overcome the odds to return to the level of play that he left. Dunham in goal, ready on the right side for the faceoff. The Rangers get the faceoff, leading by one here at home. Bali relays the puck back to the defenseman. Ribeiro breaks it up with a poke check. The long pass intercepted by Ryder. He's got it through the zone. Casper Ryder creating space. Nice D. Some rough play here. That stick came in on him. Markov. Dejane loses the puck after that shoulder shot by Messier. Pody passes it across to Malay. The defensive zone. He passes to the defenseman. Pody with the puck at center ice. Bali feeds to the left side. Dejane from Ribeiro. Bali under pressure passes up the right side. Bali over to Messier. Sent back to the point. Kasparaitis. Center ice. Kasparaitis dishes out to the right wing. To the left wing. Theodore makes the save. His team down a goal right now does not want to give up another one here. I don't think there's any mistake about this one. It sure looked like a cross check even from up here. We'll show you the replay and let's see exactly what the ref saw. Here's what the ref saw. Stick up and both hands on it. La Couture making his first penalty box visit of this hockey game. And he sits there and you know what he's hoping. Come on, guys. The PK unit's got to get it done. And they're ready for the faceoff. The Canadian win possession of the puck, trailing by one. Marino gains possession in the defensive end. And Gary, I'm not sure that was intentional, but if it was a defending player that did it, and it was intentional, that's a deuce. And they're getting ready for the faceoff as the players get set around the faceoff dot. The puck tipped away. positioning he's a terrific position goaltender even when he's forced to move I mean we talk about being square to the shooter try to push off one post get all the way over to the top of the crease on the other side and be square and well positioned watch this guy do it the puck is being carried by Kovalev oh did he ever get good leverage on that hit leaned in with the shoulder knocked him flat back to the point Oh, heavy metal off the outside of the post. Well, Garrett, he was even toying with the idea of pushing this puck back into play. It would have been a mistake. Late in the game, up by one. Dunham camps out at the left of the goal. He's got it along the boards. Oh, you can hear the shooter mumbling to himself, down by one, and he can't even get the shot through to the goalie. Good block. Doing a good job keeping the puck out of the net. That last uh, possession, they warded off a set of shots, stopped them all. Over to the right wing. And it's cleared out of the zone, out of trouble. The Canadian get the loose puck in their own end. Lovich has it. Lovich is in the corner. Lovich in deep with the puck. He's got it in the corner. Kovalev gets control of the puck in his own end. Oh, man, remember that great player? Okay, one of the greatest. He used to use his elbows. That's what happened on this play. We'll go back and take a look at the replay and see why the ref called it an elbowing penalty. You get that elbow up in the air and close to the opponent's face, that's when you're going to get an elbowing call. Watch this. Trust me when I tell you, when you get nailed with an elbow, it hurts. The skaters will face off left of the net.
Feels like it's like getting hit with a bumper car. Low center of gravity. What a hip check. He flattened him. Oh, that goalie was wondering who was coming in to help because the Sharks were closing in for the feeding frenzy. Nice poke check to bail him out. Marino has the puck in his own zone. It's taken through the zone by Holy. It's controlled right side along the boards by Holy. 13 seconds left on the ticks. Murray carries the puck into the corner. Murray fires out a pass, but to no one. And that signals the end of the game. The final score, 3-1. The third star of the game. Number three, Cody! Thank you for joining us here tonight. Have a good one.